Hello and welcome back to SciTai Tech. In this video, I'm going to show you an interesting tilt switch buzzing maze game that uses magnets and mercury tilt switches. Ah, stuck on a magnet. Ah, causing me to wiggle. Let's get started. And these are the parts that you're going to need to make for this project. The items you're going to need is some cardboard to be able to build the housing, some long wire to attach to your magnetic tilt switch wand, a 9 volt battery clip, a 9 volt battery, two mercury tilt switches, and a whole bunch of little neodymium magnets. And this one large neodymium magnet that has a hole in the middle. And a chopstick where you're going to attach the magnet to and your tilt switches to, to be able to play the game. And this passive buzzer. And there we go, let's go ahead and assemble this project and let's get started. First I want to take my permanent marker and draw the maze line for this game. You can make any kind of design you want, and I'm going to choose some random designs to make the game more interesting and challenging. And of course this is fully customizable. There we go, it should look just like this. And this will be my platform for the game. Next, I'm going to take my Zacto knife and I want to cut not on the line, but on both sides of the line, just to make enough of a gap that's about maybe one centimeter gap to be able to pass the magnetic tilt switch wand through to be able to pass through the maze. As you can see, I cut on the top side. Now I'm going to go ahead and cut on the bottom side and repeat the same process. And it should come out looking just like this. Put them together and you should be able to have a gap about a centimeter apart. So then that way you can be able to pass your magnetic tilt switch wand through. Next I'm going to take my game platform and place it on top of the backboard just like this. Make sure it's perfectly even. Later on in this project, I want to take these magnets and I want to place them onto these lines right here. And I want to be able to place them where they have different polarization. They have the South Pole and the North Pole. And just put them in random positions all the way through. Doing that will cause me to use the magnetic wand to attract or repel the magnet, which will then cause you to accidentally tilt the switch and make the buzzer go off. Next, I want to go and take my permanent marker and I want to make dots of where I want to position the magnets. Making sure I follow the line perfectly so that way everything is aligned properly and it should look just like this. Now I'm going to go ahead and put hot glue on the dot and place the magnet in a random position. Just like that. And there we go, all the magnets are now in position. So what I want to do here is I want to take this bottom piece place it like this and put this backboard on it just like that. So I'm going to go ahead and put some hot glue and glue it into place just like this. Now I want to take these support pieces and put them on the sides. There we go, just like this. Do the same thing on the other side. And then take the front panel and attach it, just like this. Next, I'm going to take my support panels and place them in the middle to add extra support. Just like this. Do the same thing for the top. And there you have it. It should make this one side more sturdy. Next, I'm going to take more support panels and place them on the other side. Glue it into place. And attach it evenly, just like this. Now this part here is a little too much, I'm going to cut off some of the excess. There, that should look a little bit better. 
And there you have it. It should look just like this when you complete it. Of course, you could use wood and it'll be more sturdy and more rigid, but unfortunately, uh, I didn't have any wood on hand, so I decided to use cardboard, which is the next best option. But as you can see, it'll still work. But again, wood would be much better to use. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and take my hot glue and glue down my buzzer. Just like this. Next, I'm gonna take my nine volt battery clip and take the positive wire from my buzzer and solder it into place. There we go, just like that. Next, I'm gonna take my extension wire and solder it to the negative terminal of the nine volt battery. Solder it into place. And then I'm gonna take the extension wire and solder it to the negative part of the buzzer, just like this. There we go, and the battery can connect just like that. Now I'm gonna go ahead and put some hot glue on the wires and glue them down so it looks a little bit more organized. Next, I'm gonna take my chopstick and I'm gonna take my Neo Mini magnet with the hole in it and glue it into place just like that. Put a little bit of extra hot glue inside and that'll hold it into place more firm. Now I have my mercury tilt switches and I'm gonna take those and place them on the chopstick and put them in these type of orientation and tilt them slightly. So that way when you hold the chopstick level, it will not set off the alarm. But if you tilt the chopstick either up or down, it'll cause the alarm to go off. So there you have it, it should look just like this. And as you can see, I've already tinned the end of the wires on the tilt switches, so that way soldering will be a little bit easier. Put a little marker right here, right here like this, and that'll indicate that you're holding it right side up. So you have to hold the stick like this and make sure it doesn't tilt. In that way, now let's go ahead and take this leg here and this leg here and solder those two together. And take this leg here and take this leg here and solder those two together. Next, I'm going to take my two extension wires and put in some shrink tubing, just like this. I'm going to take some more shrink tubing and place them all just like this. There we go. Now the wires are together and it's uh, not so messy, it's a lot better now. It should look just like this. Next I'm going to take my extension wires and solder it to the tilt switches, just like this. Move my shrink tubing over to keep everything more insulated, and repeat the same process with the other extension wire. There we go, just like this. Okay, so there you have it. The circuit is now complete. As you can see, it's time to test it out. And I've made these three dots. As you can see, I've made these three dots right here. One here, one here, one here. These are for level of difficultness. Because you can see this first dot is for easy, this one's for normal, and this one's for hard level. And that's by measuring by taking this and putting it through. So you have to make sure the dot doesn't pass the cardboard. So the dot, first dot stays here on the cardboard, second dot on the second cardboard, third dot on the cardboard. The closer you are to the magnets with this magnet, the harder it gets because the magnets will react to the game. And with this game, 
as you hold the stick this way up at the dot facing you, and you have these lines that are on the stick. You have to hold your fingers behind the lines like this. Now let's go ahead and test it out by taking the battery and connecting it. No sound because I'm holding it level, but if I so happen to tilt this way, it goes off. If I tilt this way, it goes off. So then I have to hold it, whoop, hold it level, even like this. And it, oops, already lost. So now I'm going to try to make it balance. Lost. Let's go on the easy level. Okay, so far so good. So far so good. Now I get too close to a magnet. I'm going to try to pull this to make it move. The magnet's causing you to wiggle. And if the magnet causes me to wiggle, if another ma there we go. If another magnet, if another magnet comes close to it, and it messes with the magnetic field, and I'm trying to move, and it's like pulling out the magnet, so the magnet here is grabbing onto the magnet, and I'm moving the stick up to try to get out of the magnetic field. I'll either bend it because of the magnet pulling on it, so I'll bend it and do like that, or, or if I get out of the magnetic field, it'll basically make the magnet wobble like that. And you don't want it to wobble from the magnetic field, repelling it to make it wobble, or pulling at it to make it wobble when you're trying to break the magnetic field. Or if you get too close and the magnet is pulling on it, and then you try to move this, it'll cause you to tilt as well. And then when you break out of the field, it'll make you wiggle. So yeah, that's the object of the game. Now let's have a closer look. As you can see in the inside, all of the magnets are in here. And when you're trying to play the game, you have to have the magnet going through here, and you have to go through and not allow these magnets to interfere with your stick. If it does, it'll cause you to wiggle the stick and cause the tilt switches to contact the and close the circuit, which will then cause the buzzing. Hold it level. Hold it level. Ah, stuck on a magnet. Ah! Causing me to wiggle. Alright, try again. Ah, I'm wiggling too much. Okay, I have to stick level. Ah, so I'm stuck on a magnet. Stuck on a magnet. Okay, let's try again. Ah, there we go. There we go. Ah, another magnet I'm stuck on. Ah, it's making me wiggle. Nope. Ah, you know what? I actually suck at my own game. I made this game and I actually suck at it. That's not very good. Alright, oh, I'm stuck on a magnet now. I can't move this very well without tilting it. Ah, that tilted it. Try again. And, ah, I tilted it. Go through. Yeah, I'm doing good. Okay, I'm doing good. Ah, nope, tilted. Ah, uh, tilt it again. Ah. Uh. Ah, I got it. Stop tilting. There we go. There. There, made it. Sort of. 
But of course, if you want, you can make this exact game, but instead of making it out of cardboard, I would highly suggest you making it out of wood, because wood would be a lot more rigid, it won't allow it to move like this, so... Cardboard, that's the only problem with cardboard, is it tends to move. So if this was made of wood, it would be a lot more rigid, and you could be able to play it a lot more easier, and it would probably look a little nicer too, and more smooth, and not with all these little rough edges like cardboard tends to do. But yeah, if you want to make it out of cardboard, which is very cheap and recyclable, and very easy to manage and to make, then go ahead. If you have wood, wooden materials to be able to make it, like this type of wood, which I have, except you can tell it's too small and that's the only piece of wood I actually have, so I can't make this out of wood because I don't have it. This is the only piece I have, but it's a lot more rigid, which will then allow you to be able to play it a lot better and to make it look nicer and if you want you can even paint it if you like but yeah there you have it now you know how to make a tilt switch magnetic maze made by just a few simple parts and there you have it thank you for watching side tie tech i hope you learned something new and don't forget to like and subscribe and of course click on the bell icon to be notified for future side tie tech videos till the next tech goodbye